Well, today we're at the Alamo. <laughs> yeah, not quite. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're at a replica of the Alamo at Solomon's Castle over here close to Wachula, Florida. What's the actual town that we're in? Ona. Ona. It's in the middle of nowhere. It literally is in the middle of nowhere. We'll show you the castle. We'll show you the walking trails. There's some nature trails out here. We'll walk through there. And um, I don't think we're going to go inside because they don't allow any filming or photography inside at all. Yeah. And it's about $16 a person just to go through the, the castle. castle. It's about a 45-minute guided tour. So if you're into art, probably worth it. Lots of stained glass that uh, he did and he has an add-on package for like another ten dollars if you want to see like his collection of pre-1935 cars yeah cool and hot air balloon and trains and airplanes that he he built well we'll show you all the free stuff and then if you decide to come out to solomon's castle you can decide whether you want to see more than just the free stuff or not Solomon guy is the architect of the house? Is he the artist too? Howard Solomon is the, I don't know if he's the artist as well. I mean, he's the architect of the home, so I guess he is the, yeah. the artist of all the stuff and that's Lots here. of stained glass. Yes, he has quite Some the collection Some planets up here, and I'm not sure if that's Saturn or Uranus. Stop it. Huh? Stop it. You know what it is. It has rings. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> The, the Solomon's Castle is... It's unique. It is. Um, it's totally made out of these aluminum Newspaper printing... Newspaper printing plates. Plates. Which, I mean... You can't really tell that's what it is. Sheets of aluminum. It just looks like sheets of aluminum. There's a better look at the castle. Yeah. We were up close because uh, we wanted to get a better look at Uranus. Stop. Well, this is a castle, and um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, we did all the free walking around stuff. Uh, we'll take some pictures and do some more B-roll and stuff. But um, there is the the boat in a boat. Yes, which is a restaurant. You can you can eat here. We were gonna come out here and eat today. Yeah. We decided not to do that. But we did walk through the boat in the moat, and it smelled good. Yeah. The food smelled, smelled good. good. Their menu looks good. Yeah, and then right as you go through the the boat. In the moat, there's a uh, little shops out there where you can little gift shops. Little gift shops, and you can buy stuff. Little trinkets and homemade stuff. Lots yeah. of stuff. Very geared... unique, artsy stuff. Yeah, and lots of stuff geared toward campers. Yeah, I was surprised. There was a lot. Lots of, of camper stuff. Camping stuff. Yeah. Uh, if there's anything else to see, we will explore around the area and we'll show it to you. the rickety ass bridge if she makes it then I'll go well don't jump on it that's just not smart yeah test it while you're over the water that's a good idea is strangely tall. I have no frame of reference to show you, but as tall as you. I'm, I'm in the foreground and he's in the background. But if I walked up and, and stood next to him, his back is probably right here yeah. to me. He's almost six foot tall 
on four legs. <laughs> it's gotta be the tallest cow I've ever seen in my life. It's freaking me out a little. <laughs> He's adorable. Yeah, beautiful cow, but it's just weird. But I've never I, seen one that tall. When you come to Solomon's Castle, you never know what you're gonna see. World's tallest cow. I'm just gonna. <laughs> go, I'm just go gonna. Throw it out there. I'm just gonna claim it. I'm just gonna claim it. <laughs> if uh, if Guinness has got something else in their books, then let me know. But as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> this is the world's tallest cow. <laughs> Solomon's Castle. Yes. Worth it or not? I think so. We didn't pay anything. We didn't do the tour. No. But I'm sure it's really cool. It probably is. I don't know if it's sixteen dollars a person cool. Yeah. If you're an art person and stained glass person, then yes, you will get a lot out of it. Yeah. But there's plenty to see for free. Yeah. There's a couple of different nature trails, and like I said, the the Alamo replica is back there. Lots of different statues. It takes you around a little farm. Yeah. Where we saw the tallest cow in the world. <laughs> that and was awesome. um, <laughs> I like that. Saw a little statue of the uh, inappropriate old lady. Yes. Flipping us off. It's art I can get behind. <laughs> That's my kind of art. <laughs> and it's just um, just the trees and it's beautiful out nature. Here. Got to see a couple big vultures pretty close yeah. up. Yeah. Out there on the creepy old trees Tree. with the Spanish moss yeah. and the vulture sitting there. It's it's really it's creepy. And it's on a sunny cool. day. If it was like overcast or foggy. Or October. Yeah, that'd be really <laughs> creepy. But definitely worth coming out and yeah. checking out if you're yeah. close to this area. Definitely. Ona, Florida. Yeah. <laughs> Ona. Ona, Ona. Yeah. I don't know how they really say it. All right. Let's see what else we can get into. <laughs> okay. Well, today we're at Sugar Sand Distillery. Mm -hmm. Uh, just outside of uh, Wachula, Florida. I don't know exactly what town this is in. Yeah, I didn't pay attention to I don't to know. It's about um, a half an hour from the Thousand Trails. Yeah, Thousand Trails, Peace, Peace River. It's about a half hour drive. It's in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. And we found it actually through Harvest That's Host. Nice. Yeah. Um, we try to find cool and unique stuff around wherever we're camping. Mm -hmm. And we usually use like TripAdvisor or just Google Maps yeah. or whatever. But we figured, hey, since now we're members of Harvest Host, they have lots of cool distilleries, wineries, breweries, yeah, farms, farms yeah. Uh, you know, petting uh, animal, animal places, places and stuff. Yeah. So we looked it up and this distillery looked really cool. They distill um, rum, gin, vodka, vodka moonshine. and moonshine. <laughs> yes, all great things. <laughs> and what's really cool is they grow their own sugar cane out here. Yep. For the distillery process. Got 12 miles of sugar cane. 12 miles. That's a lot That's of a sugar lot. cane. <laughs> and they uh, they do their own distilling, their own fermenting, their bottling. own bottling, aging, everything mm -hmm. out here. It's super cool. Yeah. Um, we're going to go inside. We're going to do a little tasting. We're going to take you on the tour. Mm -hmm. um, probably won't show you too much of the tour because we'll be talking and stuff, but we'll tell you all about it okay. when we get done. Everybody quiet. So smoother than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. 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 
the least ginniest gin. I've never had juniper. Well, you gotta have juniper. That's what makes right? it a gin. Yeah. Yes. But it's like mm. very. <laughs> Get it? Juniper for Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and the, sh the sugar sand uh, distillery was very cool. And we didn't <laughs> mention that we were out there with um, some friends that we met in Thousand Trails, Orlando. Orlando. We yeah. ran into them again, Michael and Martha. And uh, we went out there with them, spent the day. So you'll probably hear we had a great time. Yeah, some of them in the background because we were doing a lot of joking around. And yeah. Especially after we had a few drinks in us. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me and Michael are the more lightweight yeah. of the drinkers. Yeah, me and Martha were throwing them back. Yeah, you too. Well, I had no choice. <laughs> You you weren't drinking yours. I couldn't. I could not. <laughs> For the life of me, I could not. <laughs> I'd have fell right off that bar stool. Yeah. Um, we'll leave links in the description below to Solomon's Castle mm -hmm. and to Sugar Sand Distillery. And if you want to go check those out, especially if you are an RVer and you want to stay overnight out at the distillery, it's a really cool place. Yeah, because he does live music out there and the food yeah. trucks come out so you can... Hang out, yep. eat, drink, and stumble your way back to your RV on the other side <laughs> of the road. <laughs> Pretty conveniently located. It's about, um, I don't know, 30, 40 feet from the bar. Yeah. Is where your RV yeah, would park. It won't park. be a far so You could actually crawl <laughs> back if necessary. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody help you back. <laughs> <laughs> but it was really cool. We had a good time here. We're headed mm -hmm. back to Orlando for the, for the holidays. A um, lot of cool stuff coming up there. We were there already, but there's a ton of stuff to do in Orlando. Yeah, um, don't ever run out there. Yeah, we're meeting up with some more folks over in Orlando. Mm -hmm. Lauren's coming down shortly after Christmas, uh, so it's gonna um, be a whirlwind. It is. It's week, gonna be first busy. week at Orlando yeah. again. And we have some friends that we met in Kansas City. They're gonna come down. They're yep. pretty close to that area, so we're gonna we're meet gonna up with up. them again. Mm -hmm. and so excited! Yeah, we'll bring you along for all that. Um, we hope you had a good time hanging out with us here with Chula yeah. and Ona. And actually, the Sugar Sand Distillery is in Lake Placid. Looked it up earlier. Yes. But when we were on location, I forgot exactly what, what city, city we were it was. Was. But it's Lake Placid. <laughs> it says it on the bottle of rum. Rum. Yeah. The Lake Placid rum. But uh, like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. We appreciate you all watching, and we will see you next time. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.